You've watched alligators at the zoo, but you've probably never seen a man in the water with the alligators. Dr. Walter Offenberg of the Florida State Museum and Ken Vliet of the University of Florida get into the water with alligators to study their mating behavior. In the beginning, they observe the more than 150 animals in the large pond at the museum from the boardwalk above the pond. They and their volunteers spent hours watching the behavior of alligators during the mating season, which begins in April. When they analyzed their observations with a computer, they were convinced that the alligators had become accustomed to human visitors and were carrying on their mating rituals as they would in the wild. Adult alligators are large, powerful animals, very capable of injuring one another. Courtship rituals between individuals are important in reducing aggression. After a series of experiments, the scientists learned that it was safe to actually go into the water with the alligators during the mating season. They even mounted an alligator head on a pole and mimicked the motions and sounds of an alligator during courtship. They were not entirely successful at getting an appropriate response from their subjects. But they did discover that many courtship patterns consist of slight movements, raising a head above the water a little, or a small swimming move. Studying the behavior of an endangered species is a first step in helping them on the road to recovery. This research could shed new light on the once endangered reptile that is now on the road to a comeback, the American alligator.